Hey guys, welcome back to Chaos Core Tech. My name is Garrett, and today we are going to be making Ori from Ori in the Blind Forest and Ori in the Will of the Wisps. Recently, our friend Matt over at the Friday Night 3D Printing Hangout asked us if we would be guests on one of his Friday Night streams and do a model along, where we model something and people in the community can jump on and model along and, um, you know, give some tips and stuff along the way. So that's what we did, and I asked on Twitter um, what I should make. And uh, Uncle Jesse, who actually has given a number of suggestions that we've taken over the years, but he suggested we make Ori, since the new Ori game just came out. Um, and if you don't know who Ori is, here's a picture. Um, fun little platformer games, very, very stylized, and kind of a cool story in there with minimalist storytelling. So it's a pretty interesting game, and I definitely recommend them. And actually, if you have Xbox Game Pass, they're both free on there right now. So uh, definitely worth checking out. It was a ton of fun doing that live with everybody, and it's pretty interesting to see how other people of varying skill levels of ZBrush think about the program, and one of the things that uh, kept coming up in that stream was the fact that I was uh, primarily using the Move Brush, um, and I, I'm sure, I, well I know it's not the proper way to do things, but in ZBrush and programs like that that is very art driven, um, or creativity driven, it's, there's not really a proper way to do things. Um, and Chelsea and I got to talking and we thought it might be interesting to do like uh, a model competition between both of us where we each pick one brush and we exclusively use that brush. Um, I, we use like the smooth brush and stuff like that, but that's kind of a secondary thing. Um, so uh, let me know down in the comments if that'd be something you'd be interested in because um, I don't think I've ever seen anybody do that, so it's kind of fun. So with that, the model's done and it's ready to be printed, but I thought I would add a base to it just to give it a little more flair. Um, and it's something that I've been wanting to do some more environment type things and just kind of learn how to make those. So I made a base that has some rocks, it has some grass, it has some flowers, and I actually basically just used, I made like a blade of grass and then I moved it around a couple times, like duplicated it, moved it, scaled it, so it had some variation and made like a clump of like eight or nine grass blades and then I did the same thing with that clump that I made and moved that and patterned it around a whole bunch, scaled it, kind of just took a broad move brush to, to um, kind of skew it a little bit to put some variation in there and the whole process makes some decently convincing grass. Um, not easy to print grass but convincing grass and then I put some flowers in there and did some rocks and I think it actually came out pretty good.
And here we have it. This is the finished Ori model. As you can see, Chelsea did um, some really nice painting and shading on there to give it more of a stylized look. Um, and then she also did a resin pour um, to make the background and something nice that we could take pictures of Ori in front of that kind of made it look like it was part of Ori's world. Well, if you would like to get your hands on this model, we have it on our Patreon. There is a link down in the description. We have all of our models over there and um, all the support that we get from people over there helps keep this channel going. So we really appreciate it. All right, that's it for me. Let me know what you think down in the comments. Thank you for watching and until next time, keep creating.